In this video, we're going to start defining some of the things that we need in order to describe the fundamental group of a space, which will be our first algebraic invariant of a topological space. You'll have seen some algebraic invariants of topological spaces in the past, probably such as dimension or um, Euler characteristic. But let's get started. So, a path is a map from an interval into a space. So a path in a space for x topological space is a map from the interval, so that is the interval 0 to 1, uh, contained in the real line with its standard Euclidean topology. Um, and so a path, well let's take let's take a disk, but let's puncture the disk so we'll say that this is the two disc, uh, but it's uh, minus, it's, it's missing the origin. So, origin. Okay, so what's a path in our, in our space X? So this is our space X. Well, a path is going to be, it's, it starts at, at somewhere, which is going to be image of zero uh, and it's going to take us to the image of one uh, and it's going to be has to be continuous we're in the category of topological spaces um, and now we want to talk about homotopies of paths so suppose I have two more paths starting and ending at the same spot so say one here and say one here If we fix these endpoints, I want to say that these two, the bottom path and the middle path, sorry, the bottom path and the middle path are the same in some sense and different from the top path. And the reason why the, the bottom two are the same is because we can squish one into the other while keeping the endpoints fixed and not leaving the space or tearing the, the line. So we can sort of, you can think of sticking in a movie of paths all starting and ending at the same point um, between them and this deformation is continuous in some way uh, in a way that we'll make rigorous now so uh, let's say our top path uh, so the middle path is f0 so a map from the interval into x uh, and our bottom path is F1. So this is F0 and this is F1. Great. So I want to describe this sort of movie of, of paths between them and I'm going to say that that looks like a family F of T of paths um, for T in the interval from 1 to 0. Uh, and this has to vary continuously between them. This, this describes a homotopy of paths. But it's still not entirely sure what, it's not entirely clear what it means when I say that I want this family of paths to, to vary continuously with t there. So what we want is a homotopy between paths is some a continuous map H, so some map H from the interval across the interval. Um, and I'm going to say that this corresponds to my T here. And note that if I fix one of these T, if I fix something here, then I end up with a path into x. Okay, and what do I want? I want the following to be true. I want h at the start point times anywhere on the, on the interval uh, and anywhere in the interval to be the same thing as f0 of x. I want 
h1 of x to be my final path and I want h uh, let's say well any for any t I want at 0 so I want it to be them all to be fixed at that point so I want that to be equal to p0 um, and at h t of 1 I want it to be p1 now you should think of this h so it's it's the interval across the interval so it's a square um, and then I have 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 and I said this first coordinate which is going to be this bottom one corresponds to t so by saying that uh, for any t when the other coordinate is 0 we're here that means that this whole slice here is sent to uh, is sent to p0 and similarly this condition says that everything on this top slice is sent to p1 and this condition says that it's 0 and then anywhere along that we have f0 so I'm saying that this is f0 and that this is f1 uh, and so if I if I pick some 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 of the paths that I've drawn in in the middle here they correspond to slices like this they correspond to vertical slices in my square all right and that's what a homotopy of paths is